Hi, I'm Doug Coat, running backs coach at the University of St. Francis. I'm in my 28th year of coaching, and I love NAI football. Kind of like we started uh, this summer, stating that it may be a tailback by committee or running backs by committee. And uh, Frank's done well, and, and Bo Fry has done well. Uh, Elijah Flowers got a late start. He missed quite a few two days. He's just getting back in the action right now. Also, traveling with us um, and have played uh, would be Derek Atwood, a redshirt sophomore, and Richard Gunn, a, a redshirt uh, sophomore, also. So, um, everybody brings a little, something a little bit different to the table. And uh, as long as our, our players uh, understand their role and, and accept their role, and you can continue to be good team players, uh, we should be pretty solid back there. This is uh, Frank Wolf III, junior running back for the University of St. Francis. More Frank Wolf on the carry. Over midsummer condition, I ran a 4.26, and it's the fastest I've ever ran. And you know, so I didn't expect to run that fast. It was just. I think it was, it's really been God given to me, honestly, and I just, you know what I'm saying, I work on it. So it's not like I just so happen to come out here and just run fast. You know, I, I do, you know what I'm saying, I do things to get faster, stretch, you know, eat right, and, you know what I'm saying, work on my flexibility, and that has a lot to do with my speed. And, you know what I'm saying, I like when I, when I get in open field, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, there's nobody that's going to be able to catch me, and that's what I like to bring to the team as a, as a speed guy. Thank you for ball for you. To be honest, I do the easy part, you know what I'm saying? That's just running. The linemen have the hard part, which is blocking and picking up the blitzes and everything else. They just hand me the ball, and I'm just able to just run. But, I mean, it's, it's, a, little, it's a little different than it has been in the past, you know. Uh, I feel like, you know, we have a more of all-around team, and I think, you know what I'm saying, not being able to just focus on one person, I think it makes it easier for me to run because, you know what I'm saying, I have a whole team around me instead of just focusing on just being one person. So I like, you know what I'm saying, I like, I like how, we're, how we're vibing right now. What we've uh, been lucky to do is uh, uh, matriculate the ball down the field a little bit, and then we've been bringing in some bigger backs in our goal line situation. Uh, Bo Fry's had a lot of carries back there, Taylor V. In the backfield, those two guys were averaging about 220 pounds. Um, all of our running backs, their number one goal every week is what I can do to help this team win. And uh, so far, they're buying into that. And uh, we may uh, break that tendency sometime, but right now, that's the way it's, uh, it's looking. As long as we're winning games, I'm happy with my role in the offense. Offense is playing really well. Defense is playing even better than everyone expected. And uh, that's, really, that's really how we're getting along right now because we're all just vibing as a team. You know what I'm saying? That's offense, defense vibes. We cheered each other on, and it's just, it's just really fun right now. You know, I always tell stories of guys that I've, I had a kid by the name of Corey Jackway, kind of famous around here, but he never missed a practice. You know, he, he rarely missed a rep. Well, every now and then we had to take him out, take a rep out because his face mask fell off. That's the only way he missed it. So well, we set the goals pretty high though, as far as the work standards. And uh, like I said, so far these guys are, uh, they're being challenged and, and they're accepting the challenges and really, really happy with their production. We've had a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, doubting us and we've had a lot of articles about us talking about how we're not going to be, you know what I'm saying, this, we're not going to be that. And then stay tuned for more of what we have to offer right now. St. Francis Cougars is back, about to play a uh, hard-nosed smash football. So it should be pretty fun.